Greetings from U.S. to G360. I'm Melody Way. In order to promote vegetarianism in the local communities, City volunteers in Los Angeles introduced the concept of immigrating to veggie country through the application of a veggie country passport. These City volunteers prepared different activities that not only informed people about vegetarianism and its health benefits, but also how following a vegetarian diet can actually protect our environment. Let's see how City volunteers invite people to migrate into veggie country. On the afternoon of October 31st, the Tsiji U.S. headquarters was busy with preparations for later that Halloween night. But it's not the usual preparations for holiday merrymaking. The residents of Veggie Country are preparing to go out and invite visitors to their home. First, a trip to the San Dimas Civic Center Park, where the city hosts an annual fair. In various cultures, Halloween's not only about remembering the dead, but is also a celebration of the living. And this is, we are also would like to enjoy ourselves from veggie country. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Vegetarian lunch on November 13th. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, wonderful. Thank you. You have a great day. You too. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye Wonderful, wonderful. And uh, actually, we, we have a free vegetarian lunch for you. Oh! And, and you are invited uh, November 13th. Okay. Okay. Very good. It's a free lunch. Great. You'll enjoy it. Thank you. As night fell, the Tsuji volunteers went back to their neighborhoods to start trick or treating. The volunteers split into three teams to cover 150 houses in the neighborhood. So is it like a is somebody's house or is it kind of what is it like there? It's a big campus. Our headquarters have moved to this beautiful 90 acre campus for about six years now. That night when talking to the neighbors, they mentioned wanting to come up to visit, but not knowing how to, without an invitation. We, we will have a vegetarian uh, meal prepared for those neighbors okay. on November 13th. Okay. So there's an invitation inside, uh -huh. so welcome. So we said, don't worry, just bring the veggie passport. It'll be like a passport to our campus. We will invite you to our campus. And then, because we have a veggie festival, the first yeah. festival on the November 13th, free. Oh, okay. You are? Oh, yeah. But not everyone's response was positive. Some family, they, they're very, very unhappy. They say, hey, this is a Halloween. Don't solicit. Say, they saw we are soliciting. The message as a voluntary work, because if we just eat one meal a week or months, we, we will help the difference. The and then right away, we kind of just back up and stay, stay up to say, no, this young gentleman, young lady, they want to bring out a message to the neighborhood about one, we need uh, you to save the world, to save the planet. One uh, kilogram of uh, wheat only take like a thousand liters of water to grow. You know what? They were very, very surprised and happy and they apologized. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I appreciate it. Every time you come, I remember when you first came into the neighborhood, you came around and you introduced yourself. If I come here every day, particularly no, November okay. 13th. No, I'm not 13th. Give me a call. To okay. promote right, the vegetarian country. One kilogram of beef, you need 15,000 liters of water. So if you can cut uh, one meal a week or two meal a week, no meat, you might change the world. The veggie passport serves as a reminder and encouragement for people to see how much they can protect the earth. One vegetarian meal a person can reduce an average of 780 grams of carbon dioxide emission. We can easily be an environmentalist just by having a vegetarian meal. Ordinarily, we recycle and remember to turn off the lights to save the Earth's resources. But having a simple meatless breakfast, you are also protecting the Earth. Oh, it's good. Cheerio and pancakes! 
Our vegetarian meal. So we ask the children, "What did you eat for breakfast?" And they reply, "I ate pancakes," or "I ate candy," or "I drank milk." And we reply, "Hey, that's vegetarian." And then the kids realize that they ate vegetarian breakfast before, and it's not that difficult. When you explain it to children, they understand it really fast. Our founder said that one seed can grow, and that when they grow up, they'll still remember it. When the children leave, not only do they receive information about environmental protection, but they also get an aphorism card. Jingsi card. Want one? Take a Jingsi card. It's not just headquarters that's encouraging vegetarianism, but several locations across America all taking action tonight. It should be really fun. Easy to talk the talk. You got to walk the walk. You should do it. Do the rising and do it.